Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Satisfactory. Picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, in which we built a really basic base here with just a couple of uh, smelters. That's it. We got a lot more work to do. Our next goal is to upgrade the hub terminal to terminal th to three. Uh, to do that, we're going to need a bunch of iron plates, uh, cable, and concrete. We can make the cable and the concrete ourselves, but that's a lot of metal plates to churn out. So I think it's time for us to put down a constructor. Constructor here needs a couple more cables. Oh, one more cable. Let me quickly make another cable here. Uh, that's all we need. Now we can build our constructor. And what am I missing? What do I not have? I need concrete and cable. I don't have any concrete. Stand by. Going to make some concrete. Concrete needs limestone, which we don't have. So it's off to the limestone mine over here, as I recall. And that is actually one of our objectives here is to build a constructor and power poles, but we have a power pole already. Uh, grab an all the limestone and heading back. So thanks everybody for uh, the tips as far as making my gameplay more efficient and so on. I uh, haven't gotten that far along yet, so I'll take any tips you got. Concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's plenty of concrete. I had concrete. Wait, I had concrete. What am I what do I not have that I need here? Hang on. I I don't know what the Oh, reinforced iron plates. I, I'm sorry, I was looking at the con I was looking at that icon and I thought it was concrete, but it's actually reinforced iron plates. So to make reinforced iron plates we need screws. We can make just a handful of those here ourselves. Um and then we need more iron plates. We can make a couple of those. Now we can make three or four iron plates here. Not enough space in inventory. Quickly duck over here. Get rid of some. What do we not need? We don't need the wood. Uh, we've got too much concrete. We don't need the flower petals. And that's it. Everything else we're, we're going to kind of need. Um, reinforced iron plates. Two and three. Is that enough to make a constructor? Yes, just enough. All right. So we're going to put a constructor to accept the stuff that's coming out of the uh, smelter here. In fact, do we have we have enough iron ingots? We can take those out of there and put some more in. That's iron ore. And then we have this guy was doing copper. Do we have any more copper? We do. So we'll grab these copper ingots, put some copper in there, let that cook, and then head back over here. Now, eventually, so we're going we're gonna to connect these up with um, conveyor belt in just a minute, but not yet. We, don't act, we haven't actually unlocked the conveyor belts yet. So we are going to make, what are we going to make? We're going to make uh, iron plates. And that's just going to take two iron ingots, which we have a bunch of. So let's push, push a bunch of those in there. Now we just need to hook it up with a power line. To do that, we hit two, select that as our start point, and that as our end point. Now we're good to go. All right, so that is making the iron plates that we're going to need 75 of to advance the hub. And while we wait for that to cook, what should we do? Should we go? Let's just grab some more of our raw uh, resources out of our mines to keep, to keep the, these going. So eventually we're going to be able to build automatic miners that we can connect up with conveyor belts to our hub base here. But we're not there quite yet. And again, I'm not laying any of this stuff out with too much thought uh, to placement because with the next hub upgrade, we're going to unlock platforms, building platforms. And then we're going to want to kind of tear everything down and start from scratch building on platforms because it just makes everything a little bit easier, a little bit neater. So while we wait for stuff to cook back there, let's run over here and grab more raw 
uh, copper out of our mine up here. Okay, good. Got 100 copper ore. Oh, that's going to be a long drop. Ow. All right, so we lost one bar of health for with that long drop. So clearly you can you can take falls from pretty high. Hey, there's a, there's a green power slug up there that we need to go retrieve. Let's see how we're doing on the plates here. I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near the 75 we need. I just want to check. 27. All right, so while that continues to cook, let's try to get up to the top of that ridge and grab that green slug up there. Mix our exploration in with our constructing and automating berries. Thank you. There's some, something interesting going on over there. We'll have to go check that out at some point. Still picking up biofuel. So we are going to need as much as we can get our hands on until we unlock the coal production. The coal uh, generator. But I think that green power slug's right over here somewhere. There he is. Hello, green power slug. Would you like to come home with me? I will make a nice home for you at my pollution spewing base down there. What do you th what do you say? Not enough space for green power slug because I was picking up all that biomatter. Well, we don't need the fuel the flower petals. So, power slug, you're mine. Come home with me. And we'll leave the flower petals here. We don't need them. Should we see if we can jump off of here and and how much damage we take? I mean, we're pretty high up. That looks like a long drop. Uh, I'd rather just explore. Let's go a little out of our way here to get back. Let's go back the other way so that we can explore a little bit more. Oh, there's another green power slug, which we're going to have to drop something to pick that up. I should have left a little more space in my inventory coming up here. Because there's not much here we really want to drop. Nope. we got to drop something. All right, a little bit of wood we're going to drop so that we can pick up that power slug. Power slug far more valuable than the wood. So I, I said that I wasn't going to give you spoilers on that stuff, but you probably know already. Those power slugs, once you research them... Bad guy down there. Once you research the power slugs in a research uh, bench that we haven't even built yet, then you can slot them into your factories. So here's another iron ore resource. You can slot them into your factories to overclock your factory production. There's a limestone outcrop. More barrel nuts down here. Limestone outcrop uh, protected by one of those beasties. We don't need any limestone right now, so we're just going to avoid them. That is, I think, one of the, the hardcore beasties that fire... Um, that shoot fireballs at you. So we're going to stay away from him. But look, another power slug. Now, I'm just going to remember where this guy is and come back and get him because we don't have any room in our inventory right now. But we're not that far from base, so it shouldn't be too hard to come back and find that guy. If I forget, just remind me, okay? Yeah, we should probably set up another constructor to turn out those biomass bricks that we're using to supply our biomass burner. But I don't want to set up too much here at the base until we get the platforms unlocked. Well, let's just dump in a bunch more raw leaves for now. 
this has stopped, which means it's full 50 full. Uh, I'm gonna need, well, let's see, we'll just dump some more iron ore in there for now. Oh, we need iron ingots. Dump some iron ingots in there. Uh, pick up some more iron ingots from here. Fill that up even farther with more iron ingots. Uh, didn't I just pick up a bunch of iron ingots? Where'd they go? What? Didn't I just pick those up? Apparently not. Oops. All right, dump in the rest of these iron ingots. And now, what? Dump some of this stuff off. We got a lot of wood. Biomass, biomass bricks, bio, regular biomass. Yeah, we got a lot of biomass here. Um, maybe I'll just stand here at the at the bench and create some biomass. Let's see. We don't need the screws. We might need the iron rods. We need all the raw resources. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's let's just do some uh, some basic crafting here. I want to get the rest of this concrete banged out. We're gonna need a bunch of this. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, let's get some more screws. Let's get some more cable. Let's get some more wire. Again, all this stuff could be being done by the constructor, but I just don't want to get ahead of ourselves with the the setting up of the actual constructor stuff until we unlock our uh, our platforms. We've got to be pretty close to yeah. All right, we've got 75 of those. We should be okay to upgrade our hub to the next level. We've got 75 of the steel plates, we've got 10 cables, we've got 10 concrete, and we've got two reinforced iron plates. No, we haven't made any reinforced iron plates. We used the ones we had to build the constructor, so let's build a couple more. Right, and now we should be good to go on upgrading hub upgrade three. Yeah, hub upgrade three which gives us the beginnings of a little base, a little Congratulations. office. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Yay! Eighth objective, hub upgrade, additional power. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Caution, overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Yep, so we're going to have to start watching our power usage here, but we have unlocked conveyor belts, which is great. So now, in theory, we can, and again, I, I don't want to do too much of this. We need iron plates to do this, which thankfully we are creating in this. Let's grab some of those, uh, hit three to bring up my conveyor belts, and then drag it across. All right, so now we've got a conveyor belt that should be rolling uh our iron ingots directly in there. Uh, we just need some raw iron punched into here. Boom. Uh, iron ingot comes out, rolls down the conveyor belt, goes right into the constructor. Constructor turns the iron ingot into wonderful steel plates. Isn't that fantastic? Now, looking, jumping ahead a little bit, and we're not going to worry too much about this right now because we got other things that we can do, but hub upgrade four allows us to build a miner, an automatic miner, not those little portable miners, and a storage container. So we definitely want to jump up there, but for now, we've got foundations, we've unlocked foundations, we've unlocked a conveyor pole, which will allow us to build uh, higher, like, like run conveyor belts on, on elevated uh, stanchions. And w uh, with that, I I'm just going to kind of wait until we're finished with the production that we got going here, and then I'm going to deconstruct all of this stuff and start over with uh, platforms. Pick up 100 cotton, copper wire, cotton, copper wire. I don't think you can make cotton wire. You can't make wire out of cotton. No, pretty sure, pretty sure. Why don't we just stand here and make some copper wire while we wait for that other production to finish up? 
la da. La da. That'll do. We'll leave some of these copper ingots in case we need them for something else. Actually, I don't think there's anything else you can use them for, so we might as well use them all up. Make as much copper wire as we can. Oop, we made too much copper wire. Now we're taking up two slots, so let me make some more cable instead. Alright, that should be plenty. Condense my copper wire so it's only taking up one inventory slot. And we're good to go. Good to go. While we wait for this stuff to cook, shall we run around and do a little more exploring? Why don't we get up on this ridge and see if there's anything interesting up there. We could also run back and pick up that other power slug now. I have one... No, I have, I have plenty of free inventory space. Should we run back and get that power slug before we forget it's there? Let's do that. And these portable miners have finished their portable mining already. I'm not going to collect... Uh, maybe I'll collect it on the way back. I think we've got enough biomass for now. It's getting on toward evening. Sky's turning purple. He was right over here, right? There he is. Hello, green power slug. Come home with me. You'll be my new pet. Oh dear. All right, we he took down he took our health halfway down. Uh let's stop and eat some stuff. Oh uh, yes, thank you for the tip about just shift clicking on this stuff to get it in my inventory. I knew there had to be an easier way to switch that stuff around. I just hadn't hit on it yet. All right, that's plenty. Oh. And get our Xeno Zapper back in there. All righty. Pretty sky. I just want to I want to fast forward to the point where I have some kind of buggy so I can roll around and see some more of this map. I, I'm not sure how big it is. And I'm not sure what else is out there to see. That's why I want to explore. It's the whole point, isn't it? Can I pick this stuff up? Yep. But that's it. I think my inventory is full now. And it looks like this is going to be wrapping up. Yep, that's all wrapped up. All right, so we got we to gotta make a bunch of room in our inventory to pick up all that stuff. So let's get rid of the wood, get rid of one limestone, get rid of the power slug, get rid of the biomatter, get rid of the carapace, or the organs. Those were organs, in fact. Uh, merge the rest of this stuff. Uh, we'll hang on to the concrete because we're going to need that in a minute. Uh, everything else here I think we need to hang on to for the time being, but... So let us take what we need out of here. There's nothing in here. Now hit F to bring up our deconstructor tool and deconstruct the smelter. We'll leave the power pole for now. Uh, deconstruct this smelter. And de well, take everything out of the constructor. Well, can we take... It should just... Yeah, it gave us everything that was in there already. Deconstruct the conveyor belt. All right, good. So now we're starting from scratch. And when I set up the hub, now we could deconstruct the hub and s put it down in a smarter place. Uh, should we do that or should we just try to build around? This plant is what I, I didn't take into account when I put the hub down. Because we cannot destroy that plant. We can destroy these. We can't destroy that one and we can't destroy this one as far as I know. So we're going to have to build around them. I was hoping to have my hub as a hub, as a kind of a central location. But this rock and the tree on the other side means that's not really viable. Let's pull this up, go to foundations, uh, make uh, 
foundation eight meters by four meters. So that's kind of tall. I think we want the flat ones to start with. All right, let's build off the front of the hub here and just get started. Uh, now, if you hold control, it'll snap to a grid. This takes concrete to build these. I've got plenty of concrete now, so I'm just going to build as many as I can. All right, let's save a little bit of concrete for power pole construction eventually. But that should get us started. Maybe one more row out here. Oh, that's it. We've used up all our concrete. We've got some more in storage, I think. Right? Didn't we put some in storage? Yeah, well, one. We put one in storage. Uh, we're going to need more limestone to get more um, concrete to make more platforms. But we don't need to do that right now. Let's do... Let's start with our smelters. Let's put a smelter here. Whoops. Nope. Hey, stop it. I want this. This is what I want. I want a smelter here. And maybe another smelter right next to it there. How about a little room in between them? Just to be able to, to run through there if we wanted to. So you see a little green line snaps up when you're lined up with uh, the grid, as it were. And maybe one... Can we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. And then uh, constructors out of the smelters. Smelters will go to constructors. And we need... What do we need? We need more reinforced iron plates to put down more of these. We have one. I'm holding control now to get it to snap to the grid. Should line the entrance and the exit up pretty well. Yep, this is lined up. Can we put down another constructor here? No, we're going to need more reinforced iron plates. All right, so let's go... First of all, let's actually get these running. Uh, this power pole... I think that power pole can stay where it is and run a power line out here. Will it reach all three of these? Yes, it will. All right, we've got power running... Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. One of these is going to have to run to another power pole that's set up here. Uh, but I don't have the concrete to actually build that. I will, however, deconstruct this, this power line in anticipation of having the concrete to do that. Let's get over here and grab some more limestone, make some more concrete. Oh, look, the, the sky sail at night. How beautiful is that? I don't know what those are actually called. I call them sky sails. Oh, beauty. All right, a little bit of limestone. I'm sorry, I keep jumping when I don't mean to. It's a little silly. Run back here and churn out some concrete so we can put down a power pole. That's going to be all our concrete. And now we can build a power pole here. Connect this power pole up to that power pole. And now we can run three more lines off this power pole. One to that. Two. Let's see. One, two. Do one to this constructor here. And that's all. Let's see. So that has three. So the next one that comes off of there is going to have to go to another power pole so that we can build even more stuff. So another power pole. Fine. And then another constructor for which we need the reinforced iron plates. So we're back here. Quick crafting. Reinforced iron plates needs more screws, which I have some of in here. 
but enough to make a couple of iron plates. Two, three iron plates. All right, cool. Now that we've got power running to our smelters, we can actually have stuff smelting in here. So we should let's do that. Configure the smelter. This one will be configured for iron. Let's plop in some iron ore. This one will be configured. Let's also configure this one for iron. Um, and we'll have two irons, one copper going. This one will be copper. Um, copper. There we go. Turn now copper ingots. Okay, good. And then these these ingots will go to conveyor belt. These ingots will go to this constructor, and this constructor will be turning out iron plates. And then we'll build another constructor here if we have enough materials to do it. Yes, we do. Build another constructor. Hold control to snap it to the grid. Run another conveyor belt here. And then configure this constructor to be making iron rods. We're gonna need something somebody making iron screws eventually too. And then do we have enough concrete left to make one more foundation here? No, two. Oh, we got plenty. All right, so let's fill out this. Fill this out there. All right, cool. Uh, let's make one more constructor then, if we have enough for that. Production constructor. Hold control to make it snap to the grid. This guy doesn't want to snap to the grid. It, it could be just me in the way. Or this could be too close to the other one. I think this one's going to be too close. Let's try it one more time, but I think we're going to have to shift that over a bit. Whoops. Production. Constructor. Yeah, that's 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 just too close to the other constructor. So F to bring up the deconstructor. Deconstruct that smelter. Q to bring up the, the construction panel. And then this smelter goes here. And then this constructor goes here. Oh, I don't have, I don't have enough reinforced iron plates. We need more reinforced iron plates. What do I need? I need more screws for that. Ooh, I don't have I don't have enough iron rods. We need some iron. Well, we're constructing iron rods. I could go grab some out of the constructor, but we're here. So let's just do this. And do we barely ha we don't have any iron plates? Let's make a few of those. And now we can make some reinforced iron plates and go build that third constructor. gonna have to power this again all right there we go now control to snap him to the grid three to bring up my conveyor belts conveyor belt goes there this is configured for copper and we're putting in the raw copper there okay. and then this will be configured for wire turning that into wire you know what we really need more than the wire right now? Before I do that, I think I'd rather... We don't really need the, the copper right this second. I'd rather be... Oh, we don't... Hmm, all right. Well, we don't need a constructor hooked up to a, a smelter to smelt to, to turn the leaves into biomass fuel. So scratch that. We'll leave this as copper. Put the copper back in here. And now we just need power. More power. More power. I, have, I had this running off of this initial pole, right? One, two, three. One, one, two, three. I think I had it running off of this power line. Yep, cool. And then I run... That's got one, two, three. So this one runs to that power pole, and then we run one from this one to that constructor. All right, now we're powered. And this is full, so the production has stopped. Oh no, it's just... 
Oh, it's got no power. It's got no power. It hasn't been producing anything at all. Uh, two. Two. Power line. And now it's producing. How about this? This one's out of raw materials. Yeah, do I have any more op iron ore to pump in there? No, I don't. So, uh, as soon as we unlock the next uh, hub upgrade, that's going to be the next thing we do is we replace these portable miners with actual miners and then connect the actual miners up to directly into our smelters to automate this process so that we don't have to run around and, and grab the stuff out of here anymore. As long as we're doing a run around, why don't we go grab some more um, limestone over here and if we have room in our inventory go grab a little bit more copper. And then this will be the last round probably the last round of manual collection we're going to need to do. Next thing we do is set all this up automatically. You know what? I'm going to stop back over here and, and drop some more iron in here. Iron ore. That's iron ore. This could use some more iron ore too. The limestone we hold on to. Uh-oh. Did we... We just tripped our power switch or we ran out of fuel. Yeah, all right. Uh, we were using too much power, basically. Uh, we spiked our power grid and it all shut down. Uh, so I, I... The next... With our next upgrade, we unlock a second biomass burner here. So basically, I've just got too much going on right now. We can't really afford to be powering all this stuff. So I'm going to have to power something down. I don't think we need the wire that much. So I'm going to put this on standby so we don't spike again. And then go back and, and flip the circuit breaker to get this running. All right. And we're looking at our power levels here. So we've got... You can probably barely see it. There's a dotted gray line at the top here that indicates our max, max power use. And what happened there was we spiked up above the line and it flipped the circuit breaker and shut everything down. Now we've got it back running again. And because we put that other machine into standby, that's all the power that we're using, which is within our, within our capabilities. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I was going to go get more copper. Hopefully our last manual copper collection trip. This is the farthest away resource. Alright, got our copper. Well, we can load this copper into the smelter that we actually have running right now. It's not doing anything with the, the copper other than just turning it into... Oh, this has no power. I think I ran out of fuel. Yeah, we're just out of fuel, so we got to grab some of those biomass bricks out of our inventory, our storage. We've got 200 biomass bricks that can go directly into the burner. Insert fuel. Alrighty. Great. Composting. Speaking of composting, I think I think we should do a little more. Now that we're we're down to actually using those biomass bricks, I think we should make a bunch more of them. Uh, which might take a while. Uh, no, it, this goes pretty quickly because it takes. What does it take? Uh, 10 leaves to make one brick. Alright, so that's... We've done that. Now we can do more, and even more. Yeah, this this is pretty quick. We can do this ourselves. Yeah, this will be it. We'll be done. Alright. Great. 
Let's transfer the rest of these. Boom, 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 and boom. And we know that they're all here. We don't need that little dribs of stuff either. Uh, dribs. We've got dribs of limestone here that we intended to turn into concrete. And yes, we could set up a constructor to do this, and we, we will soon. But for now. For now. I'd like to get the next hub upgrade squared away, locked in, before we really start expanding. Because we're off to a good start here, uh, automation-wise. Let's just re refresh our memories as to what we need to do the next hub upgrade. Hub upgrade four, select milestone. We need 100 iron plates, uh -huh, 75 iron rods, 20 concrete, which we can actually insert right now. Um, <clears throat> and we can start on the iron plates there. And 20 cable, which we have. All right, let's check our iron rod production and our steel plate production. We got a hundred steel plates right there. And uh, 75 steel rods coming up. That's almost done. Let's just plop some more. Uh, we put all of our put all of our iron ore in already. Get our Iron rods, and this should do it. This this should be it for our next hub upgrade. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, hub upgrade. We put in 75 iron rods and more steel iron plates, and we're good to go. Upgrade hub upgrade four. Make it happen. Awesome. New buildings and our inventory expansion. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator. Yes. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So our little office is coming along here. We got a place to sleep now. We got a little desk to work at. There's going to be a research station here with the next hub upgrade. Uh, oh, we've got a potty. That's important. We need to be able to go potty. And what looks like a little kitcheny area here. Beautiful. Some lock lockers that you can't actually store anything in. And a second biomass burner, which we don't really need right now uh, I mean we, we could power it up and and get it turning out more stuff mm, but what we're really interested in doing is is automating our our resource collection here so to make that happen we need to go to, to build one of the miners we need a portable miner, so we're going to pick up the portable miner. Then we need iron rods, which we don't have any of right now. We just use them all for the upgrade. And some concrete. Uh, so let me just pick up the whole miner here. Pick up both of these. And load the materials into the smelters. And then pick up some iron rods. Make sure that we have the concrete, and we'll go and build actual real miners there. Iron ore goes there. Iron ore goes there. Got the concrete. We've got... What just happened? You're not out of fuel already. I just fueled you. He's running low, but he's not out of fuel. Not sure why these guys are stopping. We'll find out. Get some more fuel, though, as long as we're here. Throw it in there, just to be sure. Ah, we, we power spiked again. Uh, we weren't anywhere close to being out of fuel. All right, well, I, I guess we should get this second uh, constructor online then. This second biomass burner online. But to do that, we're going to have to deconstruct one power line and hmm, run two power lines to this distribution pole. Hmm. 
right, let's we'll deconstruct the one that's farthest away. And then run a wire from this to that. And put some fuel in here. Alright, now now we're 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 plenty good to go on power. We just need to hook this other One, two, three. The fourth one should go to another pole. Yeah, we're going to have to do another pole here. I, I probably should have left a little room between these so it was easier to get through. Huh? Do you think? Maybe? I'm just trying to see which direction we're going to be expanding out into. Like I'm, we're right in the middle here, so. All right, uh, another pole, one for another power pole. Uh, that, that's that's a pretty bad place for it. Is there a better place for this? No, it's just gonna be bad. It's just gonna be bad. All right, now we need to run a wire from this one to that one, and then from that one to this one. Alright. Oh, what a mess. Oh, look at this this messy power grid. Oh, this is awful. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make that a lot better. A lot better. In the meantime, we can switch stuff that was on standby back on. Because we got plenty of power now. Uh, do we have any more copper water insert here? No. We were going to grab iron rods. Right, we got plenty of iron rods. Let's go make some miners. And see how we're going to run this stuff in here. It's going to have to be... A, the, the conveyor belts are really super flexible. We'll be able to put those basic, basically anywhere. All right. Here's our first miner. Massive miner. Big miner. Whoa, mama, look at that bad boy. Now that's going to need power, too. Should we build another one as long as we're here? Yeah, I guess. And we don't... We could have enough to build one on the limestone. Why don't we go ahead and do that? And then we'll run the conveyor belts. Open. Pick up. Now we should be able to fully automate this. What are we missing? Encroaching another's clearance. Clarence needs clearance. What? Wait a minute here. You know, uh, maybe it was this. Yeah, maybe it was this this chunk of pure limestone here that was keeping us from putting it down. Let's get rid of it. All right, let's try this again. Pick up miner. Q to open the build. Miner. Yeah, all right. My bad. All right, you didn't you didn't screw me, devs. Thank you. All right, time to get the. Let's do the iron ore first. That's the most important, and that's something we actually have smelters for. And then we're gonna have to get power out to these guys. That's gonna be a little bit tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need two power poles here. We need two power poles, one right next to each other, is what we need. But yeah, my, my power work here is, is terrible. It's terrible. Oh, uh, this is terrible. Will that reach? Just barely. And that's four of four on that one. And... There we 
go. All right, cool. Uh, well, it was kind of stupid to get them running. Maybe I should put those on standby until I actually have conveyor belts. Let's let's see if we can do the conveyor belts quickly. Uh, I should I should leave that. I'm gonna leave the left side there open, f available for. Why this is on gas? This ain't pretty, guys. Uh, I'm doing this really sloppily, but I'm doing it. Uh, can't afford or encroaching on another's clearance. Yeah, so we're just going to run this one in here for now. And here comes our iron ore! Yay! And then we're going to have to figure out what we do with this other... I think I should deconstruct all of this, run it around this side. The only reason I didn't want to bring it around this side is because we're going to have to bring the copper in there. But I don't know if there's going to be enough room to bring it in this side. Yeah, this, this, this main, this central smelter set up here may not work at all. I may have to move all of this. Which isn't a big deal. You just deconstruct it and set it up somewhere else. Let's let it finish working on whatever it's working on here. And, hmm, and why don't we get started on the, we'll get started on the copper, bringing the copper down. Let me just grab some more, we need more iron plates to make conveyor belts. We only have 24 iron plates, we're probably gonna need more than that. I sh maybe I should turn out we don't have a splitter yet, right? Bear pole, conveyor belt. No splitters. Storage container. Walls we've built now. Or we can build. That's about it. Alright, let's 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 go up and try to put down another miner on our copper. Gonna need... We've got everything we need for that. Just barely. I don't think we're going to have enough iron plates to get this to go very far, but we'll at least get it started. I mean, to get the conveyor belt to go very far. Pick up miner. Q. I said Q to put down a miner. And we're going to run it, I think, right off the cliff, but maybe in a that direction-y kind of way. Oh, uh, we're gonna get have to get power up here. Ooh, that's gonna be a long trip for power. Yikes. Uh, let's start with the let's start with the belt and see how far we get with the plates that we have. a slide. Wouldn't that be fun to slide down? Ah. Yeah, alright. We just ran out of... I think we ran out of metal plates right there. That's as far as we can go. So, we're going to need some more iron plates. I should probably... If I had both of these smelters actually working, I would switch one over to metal plates so that we had t two of them constructing metal plates because we're going to need a lot for these uh, conveyor belts. Uh, I'm going to have to just figure out whatever. I don't know what's going on. I'm, what we're going to do with that, I think we're just going to have to take it all apart. And I'm kind of going in the wrong direction here, aren't I? It 
Missing concrete. Ah. Uh, I thought you got everything back when you picked stuff up. Maybe not. I can make a bunch of concrete, no problem. Okay. going on? I guess it's telling me I need some kind of base here. Yeah, we, we were just at the max length, I guess. Alright. There we go. Now we got the copper going. We just got to get power up there. Uh, to do that, we're going to need a pole or two. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a pole or two. I think we may be running out of cable soon. Hey, that actually reaches. Well, nope, wire is too long, it says. Can't afford, need more cable. Oh, this is messy. Boy. Well, this is this is really my first base, guys. I I I played, you know, for a couple of hours a few nights ago and Started. I set up a really basic looking kind of base, but nowhere near organized. So I'm going to be making mistakes and doing stuff stupid for a while until I hit upon a, a good way to do this. But at least let's get this copper going. Alright, that should be rolling now. And eventually, in a, in a minute or two, we're going to see some, some copper ore going to start coming down here and heading directly into our smelter and being turned into copper wire automatically. Automagically. Can we ride our conveyor belts? Yeah, I don't think I want to ride it all the way into the smelter, but yeah, we can ride it. Are we making copper? Is there a copper ore coming down? Yep. I see some. I see some up there. <laughs> yeah. The conveyor belt moves faster than, <laughs> than you can run the other way. Hey, look. Copper. Copper ore. Copper ore. All right, guys, you know what? Why don't we call this an episode? Uh, episode two, or day two. We've really got a, a horribly messy, badly planned uh, <laughs> base going here with just ridiculously inefficient wire power generation or a power grid going. But we are making stuff. This stuff's all too close. Look, you can't even... Well, you can barely squeeze through here, but these power poles, my goodness. My goodness. Not good. But we got a couple of hub upgrades done, and we got our actual full-on miners down, churning out some iron ore and some copper ore, and soon we'll be churning out limestone over there, and actually turning it into stuff that we can use automatically instead of standing at the workbench doing it all ourselves right? Great. So thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the satisfactory. And I will try to do better and make a more, more, a better laid out base in the next episode. Stay safe, survivors.